PSA back at it again, goddammit. Shout out to all the new subscribers out there. Shout out to everybody in the comment section. My phone, I gotta, this what I, I gotta do this for. I gotta ask this question. Why don't you prime puppets support other black coaches the way y'all support Coach Prime? Coach Prime's fans don't show the same love and support to other black coaches. Ask yourself that. If you a prime puppet out there, you know who you is. If the shoe fit, if you a prime, prime at, ask yourself, do you even know the other coaches? Do you even know the other black coaches? A lot of people in my comment section talking about I'm hating. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm this, I'm that. I, my mama should have raised me better. Uh, this, my, uh, I'm a terrible person. All this, I'm tearing down the black people. Y'all, please stop with your emotional massage dad's excuses for you not accepting my opinion. It's just my opinion. I'm just speaking my my truth. If you don't agree with it, so be it. You know, whatever. You can say fuck me for all. I don't give a damn. I'm here to podcast and speak and listen and speak my truth into the universe. Because I'm, I'm just be real with you. I'm always say some shit other people just scared to say. I ain't going to sit here and massage your ego. I ain't going to sit here and say, oh, man, you'll, you'll do better next time. No, I'm going to say, hey, man, straighten that shit up. Do that. Ooh, I, uh, that ain't hell no. Nah. Like I told y'all, I was, I was a fan of what the fuck Prime was doing until I seen what he did. And they were like, man, hell no. Nah. I'm not going to back that up. But I'm ready to see what I'm ready to see what Michigan finna do. I'm ready to see what my man out there finna do. I want y'all to understand that a lot of y'all don't even know that it's 15 other black men leading the F FBC teams, FBS teams. Do you follow them? Do y'all would would y'all take a towel and wipe they sweat? Because a lot of y'all is fans. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. A lot of y'all is prime fans. And if you don't heard, if you don't heard the goddamn I'm pretty sure you nerd heard like that, not like us. You don't heard, you don't heard the shit. You know what a fan is. And a lot of you motherfuckers is Coach Prime fans. Real talk. Y'all get in the comment section, whining, crying, and oh, you hate you talking. Bro, it's a lot of more shit going on in Coach Prime. The reason I talk about Coach Prime is the same reason everybody else talk about Coach Prime. Everybody talking about Coach Prime. And the reason y'all talking about him is because he put this on himself. He comes out and speaks and talks the way he do. Like I said, it's 15 other coaches. The reason y'all not talking about them, because they don't put the spotlight on themselves like that. They don't come out talking shit, talking about they're going to beat everybody, knew what they're going to do and all that shit. Now, let me get this straight with y'all. I've been watching Coach Prime since I was a kid, since he played football and all that shit. So I have love for Prime, for, for Dion. I know him as Deion Sanders, 21. So there's no hate coming from what I'm talking about. This is just my truth. If you don't like it, so be it. Coach Prime talks shit as if he can get out there on the field now and back that shit up. But think about the, the, this day. He's a coach now. Yeah, he can talk it, but he got to sit back and watch these guys back up what he's talking. Just think about that. As a player, you got to go out there and back up the shit that your coach talking. Not even – not even understanding that your coach is really talking beyond his years. He he talking some shit that we know we ain't got. But he make it sound good. He make it look good. And y'all, he massage y'all's emotions with, with uh God and God and Jesus and oh Lord, yes, Jesus, Lord. He, that's how he massage y'all and reel y'all in and get y'all. Cause like I told y'all before, I don't stepped outside of religion. I'm you know, I ain't no atheist, no crazy shit like that. But uh I'm not a I'm not a Christian. I stepped outside of it. And I understand that people will use that to massage people's emotions and feelings and draw you into them straight up and prime to a lot of it. But like I said, I've been a fan of him. What he doing and shit, you know, I, I hope he get it together. I wish they would get it together. But um, it ain't looking good right now. But I'm making this video for you primates out there. All you both in my comment section talk about I'm doing this for clicks or whatever the fuck. Like, y'all dumb as hell. Everything is for clicks. Everything. ESPN put headliners. Newspapers make headliners. It, this is journalism, y'all. This is podcasting, y'all. This is what we do. So if you don't like what I'm talking about, get the fuck on. But I think the reason y'all be talking like that low-key because 
some of the shit I be saying, y'all be feeling that shit. Y'all, it make y'all mad. Y'all be like, man, hell no, nah, man, don't say that, man. You know, y'all, you know, I got people in my daily life that's like that around me. They, man, don't say that, man. Don't say that. So y'all probably like that in real life. So like, like a lot of y'all really soft around the edges and shit. Y'all don't really want to hurt nobody. Feel it? Fuck all that. I I even had some dude in the comment talking about he and Bo to pull up. Motherfuckers really ready to fight and die in blood, sweat, and tears for Coach Prime. Like I said before, y'all really take a towel and wipe this man's sweat when it drip off his forehead. It's all about Prime. Y'all not thinking about them boys. Y'all done shunned away Carmine Kar McClain, Xavier Smith, all these guys. Y'all, the, the YouTubers, the fans, the people, the media, y'all making it seem like it's their fault. And y'all made it harder for them guys to go to be able to go to another school and be recruited. Y'all did that. Riding primes, did y'all so stuck up this man's ass? Y'all forgot about these young men and what they trying to do. Y'all forgot all about that. Y'all focused on Prime's journey. Y'all into that. And what Bucky and them doing shit. This is no hate. This is re really what the fuck going on. And this is something we need to address in our culture. Ide ideal idealizing motherfuckers. We need to stop this shit for real. Real talk. It's, it's getting ridiculous. And it's getting to the point where it's making these little young guys look bad. Like they, it, it's even making Coach Prime look, you know, kind of like, man, what the fuck going on there? Then you still got uh, uh, Shadur coming out, talking shit, dropping rap songs and shit. And look, I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and talk about the man's song. I listen to it a little bit. I ain't gonna sit here and talk about the song though. We all know what it is. I seen the comment section. We ain't gonna play stupid, but he's not a rapper. He just I'm just I'm just I know he's not that. He's a quarterback. But at the same time, y'all need to get y'all's head out this man's ass. That's all I'm saying. You got it real quick. So, do you know for all you prime primates out there? For all you. Prime fans, you freaky ass ninjas. Do y'all know James Franklin and Mike Loxley, Thomas Hammock, Jay Norville? I appreciate y'all. Y'all know Jay Norville, of course. Y'all seen him go up against him. But see, my thing about I'm gonna just clear this up. My thing about James Franklin, Jay Norville. Um, who else is it? Um, I think that's the only one that's like mixed. I think like guys that's mixed. You never know what side they want to be on. Like I said, like this Drake situation making me see that. Like I even grew up with mixed guys, and I had a mixed, you know, guy I grew up with tell me that they that sometimes they really don't know which side to hang with. Sometimes, so it's all about what that person wants to classify themselves. We may look at them as brothers. Yeah, you have black, so you black. Yeah, we might stroke our black ego like that, but at the same time, you don't know what that person personally wants to identify or wants to, you know, uh, be claimed, be be called. So. I'm I'm put I put them on the list anyway, like Charles Huff, uh, Stan Drayton, Tony Elliott, Marcus Freeman, uh, Lance Taylor, uh, at Western Michigan, Ryan Walters, Kenny Burns, like these these folks I've been these teams I've been following up on for the uh, last few years now and stuff, especially last year because a lot of these coaches last year was their first year and a couple of years ago was their first year. Like this this is recent, y'all. This is new. We having way more. Black coaches come into the game and, and take over these teams as head coach. Shout out to Sharon Moore at, at Mich Michigan, because uh, or Sharon or however you say it, say his name. But um, I, I gotta I gotta I gotta get in tune because uh, like I said, we you don't know personally how these people want to be pronounced or whatever. But um, Coach Moore at Michigan, like I said, they already got a chip under their belt, and I don't hear none of you primates talking about this man. I don't see none of you. Uh, YouTube was talking about uh, Coach Moore. I don't see y'all hyping it up. I don't see no count. I don't see no nothing about Michigan. Y'all steady stuck up Prime's ass. And then when somebody say something about it, somebody critique Colorado, here y'all come. Oh, they are hating you. Yeah, you you fighting the black. It's, did you see the black coaches? See the black on black crime? You motherfuckers is weak. Really, it's a lot of weak ass men out here. And I want y'all to understand it. I think y'all are weak when y'all comment like that. It's funny to me. One dude even said I deleted his comment. I'm just on record. I'm putting this in the in the universe. I will never delete nobody's comment. You can speak your mind. Say what you're gonna say. I'm not. I'm not pussy at all. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. I can take whatever. I've heard it all. Come on with it. Like I said, I'm a grown ass man. So I'm not gonna delete nobody's comment. I'm not gonna block you. I'm not gonna do none of that shit. Like YouTubers will do that. Some YouTubers will get mad at your comments and you, they, I'm going to block, put you on the block. I ain't going to do none of that. I ain't going to block you at all. Say what you're going to say. 
But don't just just keep it YouTube. Don't get on that that gangster shit. A lot of y'all try to act tough and all that shit. That shit uncalled for because like I really get busy. So don't 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 be doing all that. I'm not I'm not gonna come to your city and do all no stupid shit. Just don't ever approach me or say you're gonna come to my house or my city like that. Don't like I ain't I ain't really I ain't really, you know, <laughs> for all that, you know, it'll, it'll get serious. So just, let's just keep it YouTube uh, comment section. So I just want for all you people that got your head stuck up Prime's ass, all you Prime Mets out there, are you Prime Pussies? Do y'all know these coaches? Kenny Burns, Fran Brown at Syracuse now, Derek Mason at Middle Tennessee State, and then Deshaun Foster at UCLA. He just took over that. Like I said, he. Last year was 14. Now we got 15. Let's go next year, 16, 17. I'm telling y'all, I want to see Mike Tomlin getting this thing. I want to see Mike Tomlin getting this thing. Let's talk football. I want to see Mike Tomlin come down and grab one of these SEC schools. I'm going to fuck what it is. He'll rock that bitch. I'm telling you. 41 transfers out. This is this is Colorado. This is, you know, I'm talking about Colorado right now. Like I said, I'm going to talk about other schools too as we go on. Like I said, uh, I'm a I'm an Auburn fan. So for all you crazy motherfuckers out there, I'm talking about Colorado because Colorado hot right now. Of course. You're talking, I'm, you're talking, yeah, of course. I'm talking about a lot of shit. But Colorado is on the list. A lot of people talking about Colorado. Some people talk about Colorado every day, all day. So what the fuck is y'all worried about me for? You can go, you can go through my videos. I got random shit. I talk about a lot of shit. I got a lot of shit on my mind, a lot of shit that I read and get into. But the reason I talk about Colorado is because I was once a fan. I've been following them since Jackson State. I was mad when he didn't win them HBCU championships, like I talk about here. But like I said, 41 transfers out. You got When you got damn near 50 kids, 50 players leave your school, come on, man. Come on, y'all. I know y'all saying, yeah, other players leaving school and all that. But this is, this is supposed to be – hey, what you, what you doing? Hold on. But yeah, back to what the fuck I was saying. I was really mad about them HBCU championships. And it was crazy. It was crazy ironic. If y'all remember that last one, when the white boy dropped the touchdown pass to uh, tie the game up and, and, and that last look, that last look, the last pass, you know, like I said, of course it was a pass. They didn't run the ball. I think they were on like a two. They didn't run the ball. And they they went to pass. They wanted to get put the ball, get your dura passing touchdown. And the white boy dropped the ball. And she hit. Hey, I, I, unfortunate. But when I seen them go down like that, and then Prime was rushing everybody to get off stage, and I, I say, I like, man, like, why, like, Prime, why are you doing that, man? Why are you making this shit just all about you? And then you done sucked all these people in, all these, the, I mean, it's millions of people, thousands of people that stuck up your ass. And they stuck up your ass so far that it's making the child, the, the, the guy, the young men, the kid, the 19, 20, 21 year old young men, it's making them look bad because you ain't fucking with them. You see what I'm saying? Y'all so far this man's ass, y'all looking down on the on the young men. Name a program, name a coach, name a time, name any of these coaches that's gonna make their players feel like that. That's all I'm saying. Name a coach. Name one. Give me one. Tony Elliott, Marcus Freeman. You think James Franklin going to do his play? Come on. The, the re, like I said, the reason why it's hard for these guys to go to another program is, a, is because of what y'all are doing. It's because of what you YouTubers are doing. Because of what you fans, you, you FANs are doing. Leave these young guys alone. Y'all talking about Carmine don't work. Come on. I, I think I read enough of that of his high school's coaches analysis on him. I don't think he said nothing about really about his work ethic. He just said he's shy. He's a distant guy. He likes to be by himself. So with that being said, how the fuck y'all think he felt with all them cameras in his face all the time? 
how the fuck y'all? He, he had no privacy. He come Bucky. He come. He come. Well, he come. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, reach reach the people. And then he come another. Then everybody uh following what Bucky doing. Of course, you know, because they see he making a little money doing. So they get them channels. Yeah, he got a channel. Now he got a channel. And so everybody's focused on YouTube and what they doing on camera in Colorado. That's what I'm saying. They kind of destroying the program with this shit. It was new and hot a couple years ago because it was they was winning at Jackson State when they was doing it. But now you at Colorado, I I think y'all need to shut them cameras down, dog, and focus on the game. Cause it's it's in a way, like I said, it's making them look good on camera, but then then on the flip, when everybody start leaving and shit, since people didn't visually seen Prime and them looking good and sounding good, they looking down on the kids. What they leaving for? What you gonna leave Prime for? He he talk good. Why you leaving Prime for? He man, he told you some good stuff. Man, y'all have to understand what the fuck is going on. I got kids, and I and and shout out to all the parents out there who's. Whose young men decided to move on. Shout out to y'all. I, I mean, certain situations just ain't for everybody. Just what it is. And when you try to run the program the way he doing it, that ain't really for everybody. Like I said, no, no program in the history of college football, nothing like that. Unless you're in the pros, you know, you ain't got cameras around recording all what you're doing. Now, I'm pretty sure the practices and pros they record, but it's for team purposes. And then they have people taking pictures. You know, that's a little different. But when you got a camera in your face all day long recording you, motherfucker walking up to you, asking you questions while you're in line getting ready to do your drills, you send, you know, you got stuff on your mind. No, bro, she can get distracted, man. She can get distracted. And y'all talking about they going to come back and win championship. And Look here, man. If Prime playing on stand, like I said, he would be more patient. He's, he's overzealous and ready to, he need to win now. Players are leaving, uh, 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 Players leave, like I talked about, players leave other program, but the players don't have these same complaints. Y'all don't see them players leaving Alabama and Texas and all these other schools talking about, yeah, the coach did this, what the man, what is going on, what that's going on. Y'all don't hear him talking like Bishop Thomas, no, Xavier, and them and shit. Y'all don't hear that. Y'all hear him talk, saying this shit about Prime, but y'all want to see him still represent this shit. No, this shit, this shit is not our culture. We don't get down like this, Prime. I understand you did this, and then you was able to get on the field and showcase your talent. But now you represent these guys. You can't talk them, talk them up and then talk them down. You can't do that just because they ain't performing at your standards or they ain't doing something at your needs or something. Or they not, like you said, the, the line wasn't blocking for sugar. You passing the ball 90% of the game. They tired. Them big motherfuckers. And then offensive linemen is like blocking downhill. They like run blocking better than pass block. Pass blocking take too much focus and energy. It take, it take a lot of energy out of you. Y'all don't understand that. Run blocking, they don't have to worry about a uh, illegal man down the field. They don't have to worry about a holding call, really. They can just run through a motherfucker. That's it. They can go downfield. They can block all day. So if you're running the ball, you give your line time to have fun in the game, really. Pass blocking, man, now you're giving the opportunity for the defensive line to be downhill all game. You see what I'm saying? If you're running the ball consistently, your, the, the the opposing team, the defensive line, they're they going to be on their heels a little bit. They're not going to be downhill. But if they know you passing the ball, oh, they, they just downhill all game. Anybody play football understand it. But I, I even have people in my comment section, oh, man, you, you must never play football. Yeah, you ain't. You must don't even watch college football. Like, y'all are ridiculous, really, man. You prime puppets is really ridiculous, man. You prime fans. You, for you goddamn, he's, he, he's a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. You a fan, you a fan, you a fan. Every time when, when the motherfuckers talk, when you finna comment in my section and you finna say some crazy ass shit, just understand you, this is what you're gonna hear in my just this is what you should hear in your head. You a fan, you a fan, you a fan, freaky ass ninja, you a 69 god. God damn it, you a 69 god. You wanna you, you probably wanna lick Prime's toes or something, god damn it. Y'all some freaky ass motherfuckers. Why y'all up this man ass so much? I don't understand. I really don't for real. If Prime plan on saying, like I said, he'd be more patient. Atlanta and Denver. Have their quarterback for at least the next three years. Like I said, he talking about, oh yeah, my son going to the Falcons. They they got Michael Penix Jr. Yeah, my son going to Denver. They got Bo Nix. So where you going, Dallas? They got Dak. They got Dak. They not finna do. They not finna get rid of Dak. I'm sorry. So I don't understand what, why you talking about this first round shit. Like I said, the only way I've told people in the conversation, the only way I can see really 
uh, Shadur going first round is if he have a Cam Newton type season and they really come out and make the playoff and make a run. Even if they don't win the championship, if they make it to the final four, I feel like, yeah, yeah, Shadur first round. Yeah, he do it. Because, like I said, we're going to see how he get in line. But what I'm saying right now, I'm going to clear the app. If Colorado has a solid run game, all their running backs gone now, but they got a couple. But you know, I'm see what happens. See how the chemistry go. If they have a solid run game, they will be dangerous because they still got Travis Hunter. And if he don't over, if he don't overuse Travis Hunter, oh, they're gonna be cool if they if they run the ball. But if he come out here and plays your dirt ball and they throw the ball 90 percent of the game, we're gonna have the same results. We're gonna have the same results, folks. Sorry, same results. This is college big boy football. This is not. No, get out here and let's put the ball in your hand. You're going to have to have a solid run game and a solid game plan, straight up. And I know them coaches, them assistant coaches, feel that too. And they probably like, man, y'all probably need to do some shit behind Coach Prime back and switch some shit up and get in the, during the game or something. Tell, tell goddamn Audible some shit or something. But you need a solid game plan because the last few games of the season, when, especially when Shadur got hurt, it looked like their game plan kind of switched up a little bit. And they was way more uh, balanced. And like I said, in the last couple of games, they, especially the Utah game, they should have won. They should have won that game. They, I mean, I even made a video about that. You know, it's 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 a few games that just you just could tell they just they not they not running the ball, so the defense is not expecting it. So these other little run plays and shit y'all be doing, that shit ain't work. It looked like it ain't working. Them two three yard games and shit, it looked like it ain't working because you're throwing the ball game. Okay? But we got it. But like I said, we got to switch that. If, if if Colorado switched that up, they'd be all right. But if not, <laughs> he's a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. Prime is a good coach and a good mentor, of course. But like I said, same man that can tie you up can tie you down. But deep down, he knows he's coaching to get his boys in the NFL. That's all Prime here to do: get them boys in the league. Telling people he's staying is only for recruiting. I have people in my comment section talking about he's going to be there 10 years. All right, well, we're going to see. But I think he's just telling y'all that so them, these recruits can stop having that in their head. These parents can stop having it in their mind that he's leaving so they can let their boy go on go up there for the year or two that he's going to be there. Because he might be there another year because Shadur might not go out because, y'all, like I just talked about the draft. So Shadur might not come out. Colorado has to go deep into the playoffs in order for Shadur, like I just talked about. That's it. Shadur's good. He's good. But like I said, he's not he's not no Michael Penix. He's not no Michael Vick. He's not no Lamar Jackson. He's not the he's a good pocket quarterback. He's a good solid quarterback. They can move around a little bit. That's he's a he's a good quarterback. But like I said, he got to be around the right coaching and team and shit to be. He's he's not a Cam Newton. Like I'm pretty sure even Cam Newton vouch for that. So we got, we talking football. That's why I put that up there. This is all football talk. Nothing personal. No personal shots at none of them. I, I wish the best for the Sanders family and all. They were talking football. Colorado. Shout out to the Colorado Buffs and all the guys up there. Shout out to the, the guys that transferred out. Carmine McClain, all y'all. Dylan Edwards, do y'all motherfucking thing. Straight up. Even however y'all was feeling, I, I, I'm with you. I'm on your side. Fuck what, they, fuck what the other motherfuckers talking about. If they talking about, oh, come on, it wasn't working. Man, come on, go do your thing. That, that, some places just ain't fit for you. So it looked like you ain't doing nothing because you really don't want to be there. If your soul don't want to be there, you ain't going to really work or show out. But I'm pretty sure you was working. You just probably wasn't uh, hitting they standards or something. It, it probably was some goofy shit going on, just like with Dylan Edwards. Like I told like I told y'all last season, there was a lot of phony kicking it going on behind the camera. I can tell. I can just see it. God damn it. But at the same time, the Heisman list next year, somebody actually told me, that Shadur was a better quarterback than Carson Beck. Now, we can debate that. It's debatable because if you put Shadur at Georgia, she it. You know what I'm saying? We can debate that, of course. So if you was to put Shadur at Georgia and swap them out, Shadur probably would look better. But like I said, it's been times at crucial moments I don't seen Shadur slip up and be inaccurate and not really put it there. You know, he it might it, it might have been all the throw. He might have been tired and fatigued. It might have been all it. Now, so I ain't gonna just say he just can't really throw. He can throw. He's he's good. But for all that number one pick and they gonna win the championship and he gonna win the Heisman. 
Y'all got to pump y'all brakes, bro. Let this man play. Stop pumping this man the head up. Y'all got this man head big as a pumpkin, man. For real. That's why he dropping rap songs and shit and doing all this crazy talking shit. Oh, he was mid. Talking all that. Should their head big as a motherfucking air, hot air balloon right now. And y'all did it. Social media. Y'all did it. God damn it. The, the motherfucker I got that's, I think, going to win Heisman, Jalen Milro. I think Jalen Milro going to have a crazy ass season. But Quinn, yours, he can throw, he, you know, he all right, but he got that Texas squad with him. Dylan Gabriel got weapons. Oregon going to be nasty. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't even fuck with Oregon like that, but they going to be tough. Georgia going to be tough too. But uh, the team that I'm watching out for next year, for real, for real, is Syracuse. Michigan and goddamn Miami with Cam Ward, cause Miami, is, I'm I, I'm gonna do a video on them. I, I got a video coming up about West Georgia. I got shit already in in stock. I'm working on trying to put together. Cause I, like I got a video on Auburn. Goddamn it, they got a crazy ass receiving core, but their quarterback situation is iffy down there. But Bama gonna be tough. That that ain't nothing but Alabama and, and Washington fused together. Because Saban ain't going nowhere. He just going to sit behind in a rocking chair like granddaddy and watch over his boys and and, and help whatever he need, wherever he needs to see fit that need to be changed or help, he's going to be there to do it. And, and can't nobody change or say nothing. So Saban ain't gonna really gone nowhere. He's he's still there. He's He he kind of like the Pat Riley of, of Alabama now. On life. He he overseer, God damn it. Big, big homie. El Chapo or shit, God damn it. Godfather, God damn it. So she shout out to Bama, man. I ain't no really real Bama fan, but you know, I mean he built a dynasty now, man. My hands down. So Kirby Smart trying to do the same thing at Georgia, but shit. Like I said, man, it's 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 this is football. We talking football, man. We talking football. And and the more I just jump on YouTube, I see all you prime puppets posting shit. Did y'all just y'all really stuck up this man's ass? Do y'all know there's so much other football going on? There's so much other shit going on. Prime make it sound good to y'all. Cut the cameras off and prepare for war. That's what y'all need to do. How could how could you blame the kids, the young men? Thin line between confidence and arrogance. Straight up. So y'all prime puppets really sit back and think about that, man. How he make it sound good to y'all. And y'all don't even know none of these guys. Y'all don't know none of them. Y'all ain't even thought about them. Marcus Freeman, James. Y'all ain't thought Deshaun Falls. It's crazy because everybody, oh man, Sanders got green jacket. He was, you know, that's Dion, though. That's that's Neon D. Hey, it's, that's cool, good. But why y'all not giving reference and praise and 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 uh, and uh love showing y'all love to these other coaches? Why why I don't hear y'all? I, I don't see none of y'all make videos about these other coaches. And now Deshaun Foster got the job at UCLA. I, now I remember Deshaun Foster growing up. He played running back. He was in the league a little bit. I got a video actually coming up about these coaches, some of these coaches, because we because the numbers going up. Like I said, it ain't it ain't never been this many. We going, we going to keep, we going to keep rising. God damn it. Cause we talking about football. Our coaching needs cleansing. That's why I'm on this shit right now. Like I said, y'all not showing the same love to these other coaches. Now this ain't no shade at coach prime. I'm still showing love to coach prime, but at the same time, we have to show love to everybody else. Dog. I even have people on Facebook talking about coach prime doing it for the culture. Motherfucker it's 15 other motherfuckers doing it for the culture. 15 other coaches that want their team uh, uh, to be on mainstream, uh, be uh, uh, shot out on YouTube for these young guys to see so they can think about going to their school when it comes to recruiting. Y'all just focus on prime. Everybody go to Colorado. 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 Like, chill with that shit. Y'all really tripping. This culture, our culture needs, even though it's ours, we, 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 we've created one. We're trying to mold it. It still needs cleansing. It ain't perfect. It ain't going to be perfect. But egotistical, ideological uh, love and tenderness for uh, from grown ass men to another this this shit we need to stop this shit for these entertainers because w- what has Prime done for black people other than juke and jive straight up what has he done but juke and jive so at the same time y'all had to understand that he ain't did nothing politically nothing. And now people be like, well, what have you done? Brother, I'm I'm not prime. I'm not in the position he's in. Like he say, God has put him in the position. So so God has put him in the position to do what he's doing. But like I said, he hasn't done nothing crazy like that. To so like I said, at the same time, y'all have to really understand that 
that the um, the cleansing of this of this of this culture uh this is part of it. this is this is what i'm getting involved in a lot of other youtubers a lot of the media creators is too we just look at it from a different perspective shout out to all these guys right here dylan edwards ultimate castle harmony mcclain xavier smith bishop thomas and then i got look at number six travis hunt look <laughs> i'm just i'm just bullshit i'm just i'm just saying i think travis hunter stayed there for the nil Straight up. I'm going to just put it out there like that. I think he stayed for NIL. I don't think he really – I think – I don't know. But I just – I know they have a lot of fun and stuff like that, but I think deep down he know that, like, if he would have went to Florida State or Georgia or something like that, to be around a bunch of other guys that's hungry and being developed every day, they ain't just up there in no cameras and putting on a show, I think he I think he would be a whole better player. They, they wouldn't have overused him like that. And I really hope Coach Prime don't overuse him again. But like I said, y'all got to take heed to these stories, these guys saying almost 50 players gone. This shit ain't for no reason, man. Y'all got to understand, man. Like I told y'all, this dynasty over. And for all you Prime puppets out there, all you Prime fans, this dynasty over, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I hate it is too. I don't want to see them lose the first game of the season. But once, once they lose to North Dakota State, there y'all go. He's a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. I'm soon. Soon as that game over, I'm 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 gonna go live and bump this song. Bump bump that motherfucking Kendrick Lamar all goddamn night. Cause cause goddamn y'all fanning. Y'all really fanning and don't even know none of these other guys. Don't even talk about these other coaches. Y'all don't even talk about uh, Marcus Freeman or James Franklin. And they got winning programs. Mike Loxley. They got winning programs. You know what I'm saying? Coach Moore at Michigan now winning programs. Fran Brown has stepped in. He come from Georgia. I mean, damn. Ken Kenny Burns and Ryan Walter. Some of these coaches are struggling. You know, they're trying to build their program up, but they're not getting the recruits in because y'all got them focused up an ass, a prime ass. Let's 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 open, let's spread our coach out. Let's spread our love out to all our people. Not just because they get on the camera and talk some shit to you and massage your emotions and make it sound good to you. Let's let's give reference and give love and also all these guys. Let's root them all on. Get they pro build their programs up. So all you young guys out there thinking about going to a program that's got a black coach, a head coach. Here you go, right here. It's 15 of them. It's other, it's, it's 16 of them. But he go to the other 15. I know you done heard about the other one. Because that's all the fans talk about. So let's let's throw these in there. Let's look at Temple with Stan Drayton. Let's look at Deshaun Foster. Deshaun Foster is an NFL player, running back. You see what I'm saying? UCLA. UCLA is a, a I mean, top school. You play at the Rose Bowl. Look at Michigan. Look at Syracuse. Syracuse finna get down to Orangeman. So it's a lot more football going on than Prime. So for all you Prime fans out there, we, we just talking football. And I want y'all to understand that PSA don't give a fuck about what you comment. None. It's all fun to me. I love it. I'm glad you watched the shit. So, fans, to all you prime fans, like I said, I don't care about what the fuck you're talking about. Let's just get ready for the season. Shout out to the Marvin Tigers. Let's get it, baby. Shout out to everybody out here watching, man. Shout out to the whole goddamn YouTube family out there. Everybody out there, motherfucker. Cause I'm finna do it. I gotta go with them kids. Goddamn, get them kids, get them kids, get them kids. Cause y'all some fans. I'm sick of you, motherfucking fans. Y'all hold it down though. Comment what you want. Fan if you want. Ban if you want. Goddamn. Y'all stay up, man. PSA, man. I'm out of here.